that happens. <laughs> oh, I just threw up in my mouth. Whoa. Worst movie I've seen in a decade, at least. Uh, I'm shocked and appalled. Oh, oh. Like, it's, it's not even... Okay, first off, we just saw Pan. Pan. Um, Pan. The Further Adventures of Peter Pan. Oh, man. Or the previous adventures or something. Point is, we didn't even feel that we needed to do an introduction video this time because this was absolute shit. I, I, I'm <laughs> shocked. Um, they, they had a, a decent cast. I mean, they had Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman right there. Counts as a decent have cast. Held the cast. That, 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 that should be enough right it there. It was happen. not. Oh no. no. Oh no. no. And I don't know if it was his fault or if it was the director's fault because he was like giving a performance. It was. The, he made some choices. They, they, they made some <laughs> choices. Choices made. Um, but they were the wrong choices. The wrong. Um, and the makeup <clears throat> choices. Let's discuss before I forget the wig. It must have been applied like Darth Vader's helmet via a machine. It was just wig on head. The Horrible. makeup made Hugh Jackman look like he was coming down off the heroin binge. But that's okay, because everyone else also looked like they were coming down from the uh, heroin binge. Everybody looked drugged up in this movie. Everybody, even Peter Pan, because he never, ever stops crying. He's pretty much crying the whole time. Crying and not flying. Not flying. You get a tiny bit of flying at the end, but he spends most of the movie just bitching. I don't want to be the chosen I one. I don't think I can fly. I want to see my mom. Who is apparently made of a million fairies. She is the maid of a million fairies. So the plot of the movie, if it can be called a plot, centers around <clears throat> Peter being sent to an orphanage run by evil nuns by his fairy mother. These nuns then sell orphan young boys to sky pirates. Who cowboy sky pirates. Cowboy spy, sky pirates who occasionally fly by when the nuns fly the pirate flag. These sky pirates bungee in and take a bunch of kids. So begins the adventures of Peter Pan. And James Hook. Huh with two hands. James Hook, who has both hands and is still called Hook, has a voice that can only be described as somewhere in between uh, Bones, uh, the, the, the doctor from Star Trek. Oh no, it's uncanny. Like, brought his A-game in impersonating that voice. So and John Wayne, maybe? Little John Wayne, and, and there's and, a little bit of a draw to it. And a little Daniel Day-Lewis from There Will Be Blood. Without the creepy. And so he spends the whole time speaking like this, and it's kind of a young guy, and so it doesn't make any sense that he's speaking like this. And it just takes you out of the movie, because every time he speaks, you're like, what the hell is going on, and why are you doing it? I, it, it doesn't make any sense. They're friends, not only throughout the movie, but they end in friendship. End with, in friendship. With, with, with the most ridiculous line where, yeah, we're friends for now. Uh -huh, like, uh -huh. Flying into the clouds, the end. Every time they try to be clever in this movie, you laugh hysterically, not because they were clever, but because of how far off the mark they hit. Yes. The, the one part that I was entertained by was the scene with the, the diving crocodile. That's Diving crocodiles over the boat like great whites reaching the water for seals is amazing. Pretty cool. It's, that, but I think that's where their entire CGI budget went, however, because the, the never birds. There are these birds that are supposed to be terrifying with skull faces. But the birds are the worst CG that I've seen in a decade. Like this could run on Windows 95 Pretty much. computer game. If you had the Muppets Aww. from the Labyrinth on the green screen, it would have looked more realistic yes. than the effects that they obviously spent at least a little money on. They at least bought some kid a and pizza and a six pack a for that. For okay. sake. Do something other than what you did. Feed a sweat chop. What you did was the wrong choice. We Whoever are you are. Both. You know what you did. Okay, back to the plot. 
these kids are being kidnapped by the sky pirate cowboys um, to work in a mine where they're mining fairy dust. Crystalled. Crystallized. Fairy. Stalactite. Geode. Like, obviously, fairy a naturally dust. forming crystalline geological fairy dust in an e element called Pixium. Pixium. And it's never explained what that has to do with the fairies, but we know... Makes you younger? Kind of, I guess? Blackbeard has a... It's, it's never explained. The, the, the whole point of all this is that the plot is so ridiculous and loops on itself so many times that the, the audience just throws their hands up and is like, that's just freaking ridiculous. I don't even care anymore. Like, 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 and that happens maybe five minutes into the movie. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't get any better! We it doesn't get any better! On the plus side, if you want to get, like, a little pregame happy and watch this, okay. it might be okay for, like, ridiculous laughter and make fun, like, good time vibes. But other than that, it's frustrating. You could go stoner level one, and you'd still probably walk out of the movie theater. Stoner level two... And you would giggle at how bad it is, but none of the laughs would be what they think, what they're trying to have happen. Or you could go start on level three, which should make anything entertaining. But the most entertaining thing that you will figure out is how much more clever your comments are than the movie that you're watching. I hate it when people talk at movies, and I talked at the movie screen even, under my breath. I wasn't all loud and on the luxurious mode. But this was an MST3K sort of movie. Whoa. I'm sorry. This movie has failed on every single level. And it ruined a part of my childhood. I love Hook. Love. Okay. They... Nothing is resolved. No, this no. This movie is like watching a catastrophe. But oh. you have to keep watching it. It's a giant train wreck that explodes and then crashes for miles. Because you think it might get better. Like, they're, they, they might pull it out there at the end. Like, you keep thinking, man, those crocodiles were really cool, man. You think there could be more, and there's not any more. Oh, oh. Uh, so, as, as, as far as a rating goes, um, I give this 0 0.5 out of four beetles. That's right. It gets one of Ringo's legs out of the Beatles. That's the that's the review that I give it. What, what, what would wow. you say? Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a solid reference from Jim Henson and say, i get up and leave if I weren't nailed to the floor. <laughs> Even if you are nailed to the floor, you might consider chewing your leg off. I'm going to give it a solid point one, or one point, just to be fair, because it, I stayed. We got to the end. We did not stay to the credit. I do not care who else is in that movie. And there may have been a post-credit thing because they were so clearly like, hey guys, we're gonna make a sequel. This is gonna be a universe with all of the like, like, like things that they, 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 no, no. Which probably won't happen because from what I understand at this point, it's opening weekend made less money than Fantastic Four made. And we all know what happened with Fantastic Four. So this, um, congratulations to Pan for being a worse movie than Fantastic Four in the year, which I didn't think was going to happen. So, that's what I have done. I'm going to go run full force into a brick wall and see if I can forget what just happened. I'm going to go home and practice the fetal position on my lifetime warranty bed. Alright, well, I'm Robert. I'm James. See you later, guys. <laughs>